welcome. I welcome you all to this lecture in the course Sandhi in Paninian Grammar. In this lecture, we continue studying the Swadhi Sandhi. We have studied what is a Swadhi Sandhi. We said that Swadhi Sandhi is that Sandhi which substitutes the Swadhi suffixes in the specific environment of deriving a Pada that is embedded in the derivation of a sentence. Remember, we are talking about the derivation of the entire sentence with all the building elements placed side by side and the rules applying and the simultaneous derivation. So we have here the sentence template. We have studied this before, but let us review this. So this particular sentence consists of three padas. This is one pra plus sup, this is second pra plus sup and this is third dha plus thing. According to the definition of the sentence namely ekating vakyam, there has to be one thing for this unit to be called a sentence and that is why this thing is there. The prakriti of this thing is dhatu. That is why this dhatu is also mentioned here by the initial sound dha. The remaining padas, they are all subantas ending in sups. And the prakriti for the sup is pratipadika, which is mentioned here by the initial sound pra. So pra plus sup plus pra plus sup plus dhatu plus thing. This is the sentence and when these elements are placed side by side, the first thing that happens where rules apply are internally and the words get derived and once these are derived, then these elements, they come into contact with the other padas and then these contacts or these combinations result in the sandhi which is what is described here as swadhi sandhi. So this is a pratipadika and this is a sup, this is a pratipadika and this is a sup and this is a dhatu and this is a thing. So when this pada comes into contact with this pada and this pada comes into contact with this pada, obviously this sound of the pratyaya is coming immediately before this particular initial sound of the next pada and they are in uttered in close proximity. Similar is the case with this particular final sound of the supratyaya and then in place of these supratyayas there is the sandhi that is happening. These sounds get replaced by these other substitutes and that is the reason why these are called sandhis, these are called swadhi sandhis because they substitute the swadhi suffixes. And we have seen swadhi includes the 21 suffixes stated in 412 as well as the other suffixes also. So we have seen this, what is a swadhi? Swadhi is referring to the suffixes which are termed vibhakti defined by 14104 where sup and thing both are termed vibhakti. Sup suffixes are 21 suffixes added after a pratipadika or a nominal root stated by 412 in the ashtadhyayi and thing suffixes are the 18 suffixes added after a verbal root stated by the Sutra 3478 in the Ashtadhyayi. So to give you a specific example once again, this is what is a Swadhi Sandhi. If you have Ramas plus Gramam plus Nayati, 
Of course, Ramas, Gramam and Nayati, these are derived internally by Rab adding the suffix sa to Rama, am to Grama and ti to ni. And this internal derivation has happened and now Ramas and Gramam and Nayati, they come into contact. So this sa comes immediately before this ga and this sa appears at the end of a pada. So this sa gets substituted and there is a chain of substitution which results in finally us getting this particular form Ramo, Ramo Gramam Gachati or Nayati. So this O is termed as the result of the Swadhi Sandhi. Similarly, Ramayana Gramas and Gamyate. So this sir becoming O, this is what is the result of the Swadhi Sandhi. Here are the sutras and we have studied some of them in the previous lecture, namely Sasajushoruhu, Atorora Pluta Daplute and Hashicha. And we also noted an important feature of these sutras, namely that as far as 6, 1, 1, 1, 3 and 1, 1, 4 are concerned, they are having an input which is an output of 8266 which is generally prohibited in the Ashtadhyayi. Now in this lecture, we shall study the two more important sutras which substitute Ya in place of Ru and they are Bhobhogogho Apurvasya Yoshi and Hali Sarvesham. Let us take up Bhobhago Agho Apurvasya Yoshi 8.3.17 this sutra has got three padas, bho bhago agho apurvasya, yaha and ashi. Roho is continued. So bho bhago agho apurvasya is 6 slash 1 of bhos, bhagos and aghos and apurva is an adjective. So apurvasya where a is purva, a stands for all 18 varieties of a. The sixth case in bhovago agho apurvasya means part of. Yaha is one slash one of ya, which refers to the sound ya, and so this one slash one refers to the substitute. Ashi is seven slash one of ash, Ash means all vowels plus her plus semi vowels plus class consonants 5, 4 and 3. Ashi means immediately before Ash. Roho is 6 slash 1 of Ru which is sound R. So Roho means in place of. So here we have Roho as the substituent, Ya as the substitute and this Ru has to be a part of bhos, bhagos and aghos and this ru should have a immediately preceding and the right hand side environment has to be ash. So the meaning of bho bhago agho apurvasya yoshi is the following immediately before ash in place of ru which comes immediately after a and which is also a part of bhos, bhagos and aghos is substituted by ya. I repeat, immediately before ash, ashi, in place of ru, roho, which comes immediately after a, apurvasya and which is also a part of bhos, bhagos and aghos. Bho bhago agho. This is substituted, this ru is substituted by ya. These are the examples, these are the template examples. So we have bhos plus ash, and this sa first of all becomes ru, so bhoru plus ash, and then this ru is substituted by ya. Since this ru is part of bhos, 
and ash is following immediately. So, this ru gets substituted by ya. The derivation process does not end here as we shall see next. Then we have bhagos plus ash, sa is substituted by ru by the sutra sasajusho ruhu and we have studied this sutra before. Now this ru gets substituted by ya by the present sutra 8.3.17 bho bhago agho apurvasya yoshi. Similarly, aghos plus ash, sa is substituted by ru by sasajusho ruhu 8266 and this ru is substituted by ya by the present sutra 8317 bho bhago agho apurvasya yoshi. Similarly, you have this a coming before sa, so as plus ash and sa is substituted by ru. Now is this ru is such that it is preceded immediately by a. So this is a purva ru followed by ash. So this ru by this particular sutra is substituted by ya. And so we get i plus ash as the output generated by this particular sutra. Similarly, because there is the mention of a purva, this a as we said before is all 18 varieties. So let us look at the dirgha variety of a namely a. So we have as plus ash and this a is substituted by ru. So we have aru plus ash. Now this ru is such that it is preceded immediately by a long variety of a. So this ru now is substituted by ya by the present sutra bho bhago agho apurvasya yoshi. Now once we reach this particular stage where the output is generated then the other sutras apply. So first of all this sutra lopashakalyasya applies. Let us study what this sutra has to say. This sutra has got two padas. Lopaha and Shakalyasya. Lopaha is 1 slash 1 of Lopa. That is deletion. This is stated as a substitute. Shakalyasya means in view of the grammarian Shakalya. Words continued are Apurvasya whose previous sound is a, Jvoho 6 slash 2 of jva in place of ya and v and ashi 7 slash 1 of ash thereby meaning immediately before ash. So now here we have ya and v stated as the substituents lopa or the deletion or the zero substitute stated as the substitute. In the environment of a preceding and ash following this in view of shakalya and therefore the option. So the sutra means immediately before ash in place of ya and v which come immediately after a substitute zero or deletion in the view of the grammarian shakalya. So let us look at the meaning of the sutra lopa shakalyasya. It means immediately before ash in place of ya and v which come immediately after a substitute 0 or deletion in the view of the grammarian shakalya. So here we have a plus ya or v and this ya or v comes at the end of the pada followed by ash and then in place of this ya or v substitute 0 optionally. So this a plus ya or v plus ash, this is the input and 8.3.19 applies and returns a plus 0 plus ash as the optional output. The other output would be this, but Lopashakal just says this could be the other output. So the meaning of the sutra once again is immediately before ash in place of ya and v which come immediately after a and which are also at the end of the pada substitute zero deletion in the view of the grammarian shakalya. 
Then there is one more sutra which applies in this particular environment which is Hali Sarvesham. Hali Sarvesham. Now Hali Sarvesham is 8322. This has got two padas, Hali and Sarvesham. Hali is 7 slash 1 of Hal which means immediately before a consonant. Sarvesham is 6 slash 3 of Sarva which means in view of all. The words continued are Bho Bhago Agho Apurvasya which is 6 slash 1 of Bho Bhago Apurva, Apurva and this 6th case means part of Yaha is 6 slash 1 of year, sound year. This means in place of and Lopaha that is 1 slash 1 of Lopa or deletion and this is stated as the substitute. So the sutra means in view of all grammarians in place of year which comes immediately after a and which is part of bhos, bhagos, aghos substitute 0. I repeat in view of all grammarians in place of year which comes immediately after a and which is part of bhos, bhagos and a ghost substitute 0. So this can be put in the form of an equation like this bho bhago agho or a plus ye plus hal. In this case we refer to only hash because that is part of the pratyahara ash as well which is the condition for the year substitute to occur in the first place. So now when we have bho slash bhago slash agho slash a plus year plus hal and the output generated by this particular sutra in such a condition is bho slash bhago slash agho slash a plus zero plus hal that is hush. So this is the template example. If you have bho slash bhago slash agho slash a plus ye plus ach. If this is the case then you have bho slash bhago slash agho slash a plus zero that is deletion plus ach. This is the optional derivation. Lopashakalyasya. And if you have bho slash bhago plus agho plus a slash a plus ye plus hal, then bho slash bhago slash agho slash a plus zero plus hal. This is the generated output by the sutra Hali Sarvesham. This is the end result of the meaning of these sutras namely Lopashakalyasya and Hali Sarvesham which operate on the output generated by the sutra Bho Bhago Agho Apurvasya Yoshi. Remember the input for Bho Bhago Agho Apurvasya Yoshi is Ru and the output for the same sutra is Ya. This Ya becomes the input for Lopashakalyasya and also Hali Sarvesham. So, as far as Lopashakalesya is concerned, Ashi is continued and there is optional deletion of Ye. And then as far as Hali Sarvesham is concerned, in front of Hal, the deletion is obligatory accepted by all. So therefore, the end result of application of both these sutras which state the substitution for year is this. If there is bho slash bhago slash agho slash a plus year plus ach then year gets optionally deleted. But if you have bho slash bhago plus agho plus a slash a plus year plus hal then this year is permanently deleted. 
let us look at the example. In this lecture hereafter, let us look at the first examples of the output that is generated which is stated on the left hand side of the slide. And we shall focus on the output generated by Hali Sarvesham stated on the right hand side of this particular slide in the next lecture. So let us study this first. If you have us plus ach and then sir coming at the end of the pada, so sir gets substituted by ru. So aru plus ach is the output. This aru plus ach is the input for bho bhago agho apurvasya yoshi. And so i plus ach is the output. This output i plus ach becomes the input for lopashakalyasya and also hali sarvesham. So lop, Lopashakalyasya first of all applies over here and then we have the deletion of ya optionally. This is the further processing that happens on i in the environment of ach immediately following. Let us study some template examples first and then we shall take up the specific examples. So we have us plus a as the first case and then this sir will be substituted by ru. So we have aru plus a. Now in this case we have already studied the sutra ato rora pluta gaplute would apply and then substitute this ru by u. So you have a u plus a and then this a and u they would become o by the guna sandhi. So you have O plus A as the next derivation and then this O plus A since O comes at the end of the pada, we will have another sutra applying and substituting both these O and A by the purva rupa namely O. So at that therefore and therefore O will be the resultant output. And so this is not the output generated by there is no scope and that is why this is put in different colors. Let us now go ahead if you have us followed by a then this uh, becomes ru obviously by the sutra sasajusho ruhu then this ru gets substituted by ya by the sutra bhovagavo apurvasya yoshi so you have aya plus a and then optionally this year gets deleted and you have a plus a. Then you have us, us, us plus e as the input and then so is substituted by ru, aru plus e. Now this becomes input for bhobhago agho apurvasya yoshi. So you have aya plus e as the output. Then this becomes the input for lopashakalyasya which then deletes this year optionally so you have a plus e as the optional output generated by the application of Lopashakalyasya 8319. Then we have as plus u and then aru plus u, then i plus u and finally optionally a plus u. Similarly as plus ru and we have aru plus ru as the next step substituted by i plus ru and optionally the deletion of ya. So we have a plus ru. Then we have us plus lu. Next step is aru plus lu. Then i plus lu and finally optionally a plus lu where ya gets deleted optionally. Similarly us plus a and we have aru plus a then we have aya plus a bhobhago agho and then this year gets optionally deleted so we have a plus a optionally derived. Then we have as plus o and then we have aru plus o then this ru becomes ya aya plus o and then finally this year gets optionally dropped so we have a plus o. Similarly, as plus i and we have aru plus i, then ru gets substituted by ya and so 
here gets optionally deleted by lopus shackles here and oops, and we get a plus i as the optionally derived form then we have as plus au then aru plus au then aya plus au and here gets optionally deleted so we get a plus au these are the template examples and then we have as plus hash and sa is substituted by ru aru plus hash and then we have ru substituted by u by the sutra hashicha and so we have a u plus hash and a u get the substitution o by adguna so you have o plus hash as the final substi final derived form and this is the example of this particular case we have shivas plus hasati where sa comes at the end of the pada followed by ha so sa is substituted by ru and ru is substituted by u by the sutra hashicha and then this a in shiva over here and u then they get substituted by o so we have shivo plus hasati this is the output generated by the application of these sutras now let us look at the examples of as plus ach being the input and sa becoming ru so devas plus ah and then sa becoming ru by sasajusho ru ru becoming y by bho bhago bho apurvasya yoshi and then finally this y getting deleted by this particular sutra lopashakalyasya so we have deva ah optionally as the output similarly devas plus iti and sa becomes ru ru becomes y and then this y is optionally deleted so we have deva iti as an optionally derived form similarly devas plus uta and sa becomes ru ru becomes y y becomes zero optionally and so we have deva plus uta as the optionally derived form then we have devas plus rishihi so devaru plus rishihi then devai plus rishihi then this y gets optionally deleted so we have deva plus rishihi then we have devas plus lokaraha and the finally derived form is deva lokaraha optionally after having dropped deleted this y optionally similarly devas plus ekaha so is substituted first by ru then by y and then finally it is deleted optionally and so we get deva ekaha then we have devas plus om so becoming ru ru becoming y and this y gets deleted optionally so we have deva plus om similarly devas plus aidhata and the finally derived form is deva plus aidhata this is optionally derived then we have devas plus aushadham and finally we get deva plus aushadham optionally derived then we have bhos plus achyuta where sa is substituted by ru then by y and then finally y gets deleted so we have bho achyuta similarly bhago achyuta and agho achyuta are the forms that are also derived the next question is when we have deva plus ah as the final output why there is no further sandhi like for example in deva plus ah we can do the savarna dirgha sandhi by 61101 by substituting this a and this a by the savarna dirgha of a namely a so we have we can have deva ah similarly deva plus iti this is the output we can apply guna sandhi we can apply the sutra adguna 6187 and 
do the guna sandhi and get the form deveti similarly deva ekaha this is the scope for the vriddhi sandhi 6188 and the resultant output would be devaikaha similarly deva plus aushadham once again vriddhi sandhi and the output would be devaushadham why this further sandhi does not happen so these forms these sandhis are not explained in paninian grammar the paninian grammatical tradition interprets this as the fact that these forms are not allowed by the paninian grammatical tradition they are not grammatical so why no further sandhi in these cases the answer is very simple the answer is that because users didn't use it but then how does the grammar explain this particular fact the grammar explains by arranging the sutras in such a way where the output of certain sutras is said to be not to become the input for the other sutras asiddha section the output of the sutra in the asiddha section does not become the input for any previous sutra this is what asiddha section stands for and here we see that the output of 8319 namely zero in place of year does not become the input for 6187 and 88 to summarize we studied more substitutes in place of ru which was stated as a substitute of s at the end of a pada these two substitutes are year and zero several occurrences like dhritarashtra uvacha sanjaya uvacha can be explained using the sutras that we studied so far in the swadi sandhi due to the principle of the asiddha using which the sutras are arranged in the grammar absence of sandhi is not explained by the grammarian next we study the remaining examples and other cases related to this particular swadi sandhi this we shall do in the next lecture thank you very much for your attention